Hello everybody and welcome back to Perbeck. So today what we're going to do to begin with is a bit of a test. Uh, quite a few people in the previous episode said I should sell my slurry to make money and digestate. This is a very good idea for that exact reason because instead of just spreading it we can actually make money out of it as well and we still get to spread it as a free manure. There's only one concern and that is if we can actually unload the slurry spreader into the BGA. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to so let's get it filled up. The only reason why I've taken the Massey Ferguson off this is just because this is a faster tractor and the BGA isn't exactly close. It is a bit of a drive. Um, yeah, so 10,450 or so litres we can get into each load. So it's only two loads because we have 7,869 litres left in there. So if we just do this quickly, then we can start to produce digestate. But we can also backload, which is why this is also so good. We can come back, maybe I should have put this on the uh, class actually, <laughs> it seems quite heavy. But yeah, we can come back with a load of digestate, which the uh, silage has produced. It's actually a very efficient way of working. Because before, it would have just been a case of pumping the slurry out and using it. But now we can make money out of it too, hopefully, if we can unload. We will see. Two yellow vans up there. Okay, here we go. So I think if I just take it to the usual place, this processor here, see if it pops up with unload. Oh good, it does. So what a great system. I will have to enable slurry on the production because we actually do start off with the BJ in our ownership, which is um, really nice. We don't actually own the area as such, we just have access to it. So slurry, activate, and I do believe that is going to produce the money, yeah, in uh, gas and electricity and digestate as the byproduct. So we do have almost a full load to backload, which we'll put straight onto the field. Uh, let me just think here. I think it's here, isn't it? No, it must be the next one. There we go. Oh, a deer. A wild deer. And here's another deer. This one's called John. There we go. 95%. So we're off to the field which was corn. I know it doesn't really narrow it down much, but yeah, the one which was corn and was bigger than the smaller one. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this off. The reason why is because we, we don't want to cover this tractor in slurry. I know it seems a bit crazy. Uh, not getting a, a tractor dirty, but we do have a designated tractor for getting covered in poop. And I don't think we have any way of washing the tractors at the moment. We don't have the money to clean them because uh, we don't have a pressure washer. So we're just going to have to keep this one dirty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have a pressure washer. Besides, it's this tractor's full-time job to do the slurry spreading. It would get jealous if it saw another tractor doing it. Actually, these machines have been cleaned, I guess by the rain. This is nowhere near as dirty as it used to be, but it will be dirty again soon, in just a few minutes' time. We won't be able to go for very long, but at least we can do a bit more because I have started this field and we have to get the cover crop drilled in this field today. It is essential. Otherwise, we're not going to be ready in time um, to get that spring crop in. Okay, did we ever actually complete the loop? Yeah, maybe we did. It is difficult to see, which is a bit of a pain. If we're looking into the sun, it's pretty easy. Oh yeah, I went through here didn't I, I just cut down the middle of the field, but we didn't make it all the way. I can just about make it out. It's not that easy though. So yeah, I'll get this done, and then we'll take the tanker off again, we'll put it back on the John Deere, and we'll get it refilled, then we'll head back off to the BGA, and get that final load of slurry 
processing. Right, that's where we got to. That's where it runs out. So I'll keep going and I'll come back up against where we are now and try and meet up with the bit that wasn't finished. Uh, yes, that's going to be quite difficult. Well, as you just saw in the time lapse, I have moved on a bit. It's now 20 past 3 in the afternoon. This has enabled me to get a full load of slurry to bring over here, and hopefully, it will give us quite a bit more digestate to take back. So that's now unloading. Um, let's just see how much digestate we have. Okay, so it's not exactly faster processing. Although, how much was that on? Oh, no, it probably is actually. It probably did do most of it. So we probably get like 8%, is it? Roughly 8%? Mm, no, probably more like 20% actually. Okay, well anyway, that is processing. We do have a small amount of digestate to bring back. It's better than nothing. But it means that we're going to have to drill the cover crop without it being 100% spread with slurry. But this probably isn't a problem. Um, because we should be able to spread slurry on the cover crop, would we be able to? I don't know. You probably shouldn't shouldn't do that, but it probably will work. And it's only on a very small portion of the field. Whatever we can't do today. So let's drop it off for the final time. We we'll should put it here. And the Massey Ferguson can attach to it. Uh, we'll just put the John Deere down in this shed. Okay, should be fine there. So, there we go. Yes, yeah, so if we can just finish that one side, that'll be good. Because really, less than a thousand litres isn't going to go very far. That's less than 10% of a tanker. 7%. But still, yeah, if we can get that one side done, then at least we'll have a nice natural division. We'll know exactly where to continue when we do have more digestate again. Obviously, if I hadn't done it this way, we would have had enough to finish the field because we would have just put the slurry on there. Um, but it is very nice to make some money out of the slurry as well. That's bouncy. Very bouncy. Yeah, so we're heading down to the far end initially, just to make sure that's all covered. There's actually a little bit missed here somewhere. Just there. I have no idea how, but it is definitely an area that's been missed. So once this is done, we'll get the class tractor over here with the drill. And we'll get that cover crop put in. But I think we have done over half. Yeah, we have. We've done over half the field. That's pretty good. Right. So really, it's just a case of seeing how far we can get. This is the very important area. Which we have achieved just well. <laughs> it was just the right amount. So that is what we have left. Hopefully, we can spread the digestate on here in the next episode, which is 
probably when the cover crop will be ready ready to cultivate in which will be when we're actually drilling the field with the spring crop so this leaves field number 36 with no fertilizer whatsoever so I guess 36 just wants to be drilled now with a cover crop because then at least it gets 50% of the fertilizer then we can apply the final 50% later on but we've done well so much has been achieved by just using slurry and digestate so much money has been saved yeah so we've got a cultivator up there but I don't think we need that I hope not so we'll just park this in its usual spot the spot it goes in when it's waiting for more slurry I think the cows are okay yeah we have the diet drill here um, yeah they're fine they will have to be fed and given water in the next episode but for today our focus can be fully on getting these two fields drilled uh, which is going to be a bit of a job but at least we have a big drill uh, let's just see if I can reach that, not quite it's almost empty, let's pull it closer right I think when we drill fill number 36 with the actual spring crop, not the cover crop, not today, we'll put fertilizer in this drill because then we should get a full application in one go and we don't have to buy or rent any kind of sprayer or spreader. That would be the most simple way of doing it and probably the cheapest way of doing it. But that would be not bad going. Only one field would need some granular fertilizer. Which I think is very impressive. Right, let's get all this done. Well, that is this field drilled with the oilseed radish and that will be ready, I would imagine, in April in the next month. We can just direct drill it in, so whatever crop it is we're going to put in here, I'm not too sure exactly what it's going to be. It isn't a bad field at all for another load of corn. We have just had corn though, but I am tempted to put corn in here, which would mean of course that we do need to cultivate it because it wouldn't be a direct planter, but I suppose we could we could rent a diary planter maybe that's what I did last time it would certainly be faster something like that yeah that is what we'd be using um, but that is pretty expensive and big so we'd have to have enough land to make it worthwhile anyway 
that hardly use any seeds, so that is just so cheap. That's just such a cheap fertilizer. Which is exactly how we're going to succeed on this series. And yeah, we can now make our way over to field number 36, which of course has nothing at all. It's going to be quite tricky as well because of all the poles that we have in there. It's got an electric line running through the middle of it. So we can't even use a worker. Which is a bit annoying. I would like to use a worker ideally. Um, yeah, cause it's quite a big field this. You can see the areas which were not harvested have now withered. Last year's crop. So in we go to get 50% fertilizer. And then, yeah, I think that is the best thing to do. Just put a load of fertilizer into here, granular fertilizer, when we drill whatever the next crop is going to be. Probably something like spring barley. And that would give us 100%. That would be great. Yeah, it is. It's a huge field. It feels like this that made me think we need a bigger drill. But I wouldn't want to go with anything which isn't a direct drill. We need a direct drill. Actually, we could potentially do corn in here. Um, obviously, those poles are the only problem. That would make it difficult for the harvester. Although, we could always go with a different approach. I could put a trailer on the back of the harvester, a big trailer. A big dolly trailer. Because uh, then I can drive. The worker wouldn't need to be concerned about crashing. So there's quite a lot to think about, but the corn does need to be planted in April or May. So that's coming up really soon. Well, I'll get as much of this done as possible. Uh, I'd like to finish it. It has to be done this month. So I think let's just let's just get on with it. there. We are pressing on. Um, but again, it's hardly used any seed. So, I don't know what it's actually cost to do, this entire field. But probably, I don't know, £100 maximum in seed. And fertiliser would be maybe a few thousand. Maybe even £100 is too high. Oh, it's the first pole I've hit. bad as Jeremy Clarkson. At least my drill wasn't on demo. <laughs> this one's actually ours. So we can break it and get away with it. But I think this will be the final time that we harvest this field. I think I'm going to sell it and I put the money into a different field. I'm just hoping that this is its own thing, not part of a larger plot. Like if this is part of the main yard, then that will be problematic. <laughs> but I think it is, I'm pretty sure it is its own thing. Let's just have a quick check. I think it's a separate field. I hope it's a separate field. Okay, it's not part of the yard, but it is part of the um, cow's pasture. 
Yes, I've never done anything with those two fields there. They've been completely overlooked. Yeah, it's a shame that it's not 36, 61 and 62, because I'd be happy to sell all of those. 60 we do need, really, because that's where the cows are. Or do we? Maybe we don't need it. Okay, well, yeah, I don't want this field really just because of the poles that we have in here. But that is this field done. Uh, we don't need to be so particular of getting all these strips, but I suppose I better do it. Because it's not the final crop. This is just 50% of the fertilizer. There we go. Right, nice and tidy. Ready for drilling next time or the time after. So we'll just go and put this tractor back where it came from. This isn't an area that I go to very often here on the right, so I might as well just keep parking the drill here. If we ever need to get through to that field, we can move it. Um, but actually, yeah, it, it, it's probably going to be needed next time anyway in that field. So it's in the perfect position. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.